Gillian Fowler has had conversations with the National Health Service Property Company. And I've also met with the Chairman and the Chief Executive of the Hospital Trust. I'm absolutely satisfied that the people who are trying to make these decisions are doing so in the interests of the health service and because they want, as I want, the best possible services for the people that they treat and I represent. But having said that, I'm afraid I think they are profoundly wrong. Yeah. We've been told uh, this afternoon that the S Review site is not being promoted, it ticks all the right boxes. Well, it doesn't actually. Um, it doesn't any more than the Queen Vic does. There are assumptions being made about Estuary View and the facilities that might be available there that are not yet available there that could just as easily be made available at the Queen Vic. There are assumptions being made about transport facilities that may or may not materialise. Past experience suggests that they probably won't. And most important to me of all, is that an assumption has been made somewhere in this process that there can only be six sites. And I think that is even more wrong. It's a deep flaw in the world. Um, having had discussions with Jeremy Hunt, Secretary of State, Gillian then talked to the property company. And the property company, as you've heard from Stuart Payne this afternoon, is now going to talk to the uh, hospital trust. Now, the last meeting, we were told that the hospital trust couldn't talk to the property company. It had to be done by the care commissioning, the uh, clinical commissioning group. Well, apparently, that's now changed. Quite how or why that's changed, I neither know. Perhaps it's my superb influence through the Secretary of State. But anyway, it's happened. What worries me is that these discussions about rents and services and facilities didn't take place before the consultation documents. 